This is Movie Tone. Lionel Gamlin reporting. <laughs> Britain's 14th Army, having defeated the Japs in one battle after another all the way from India, captured Mandalay in spite of fanatical resistance by the enemy. Here's a village on the outskirts of the city, coming in for some heavy pounding. General Winford Rees, known to his men as Chota on account of his small size, was commanding the 19th Division. Here he is at a forward position while troops were advancing to engage the Japs in the final battle for Mandalay. Both Indian troops and men from the United Kingdom, including the Royal Berkshires, were in at the finish. These are a few of the units who fought their way through to the centre of the city, where, as we shall see in a moment, the Japs held on in a last effort to delay our advance to the south. few prisoners are brought in. A particularly interesting event because of its rarity, for the average Jap still seems to prefer suicide to surrender. The enemy's last stand in Mandalay was made at Fort Dufferin. This is it, being bombed by hurricanes. Originally the old city of Mandalay, it was later fortified. And now, with its stout walls and its commanding position, it makes a formidable redoubt. The godas, monasteries and the old palace are outstanding features of Fort Dufferin. And if they came in for bombing and shelling, well, that was unavoidable. The breaching of the walls of the fort preceded the storming of the citadel. Here's a 5.5 pounding away at point-blank range. A pagoda at one of the gates of the fort was also an important target because the Japs were using it as an artillery observation post. The pagoda went up in flames and soon afterwards all Mandalay was ours. <laughs> 